All right, what's going on guys? It's currently 11 p.m. and I just went on my very first ever Twitter rant. <laughs> and it feels weird to do that on Twitter and then not pull out my camera. So I went upstairs, got my camera. And I'm gonna read the tweets to you guys and just sort of go off of this. And I know this is a really weird way to start the video. It's nighttime, it's not like morning. And I'm talking to the, I don't know, I don't know. Here we go. Putting my life on the internet for the last four years and 10 months has provided me more opportunities than I could have ever imagined. And with that said, I believe that YouTube is the toughest social media platform to be involved in. Every action, every sentence that comes out of my mouth, every clip that gets put in a video, and even every action that doesn't make it to YouTube, it's open for criticism. You put yourself in a position to be judged by literally anyone and everyone. Um, everyone forms their opinion. Everyone has a complete right to give you their opinion, even if you, it's not that you don't ask for it, but in some instances you might not ask for it. And uh, you put yourself out there. And the solution to that is you have to generate some tough skin. You have to have some thick skin to be involved in this. Uh, be confident and certain in your choices. Look forwards, not backwards. And just focus on your message. Focus on what your main goal is. So as a viewer, realize that your favorite YouTubers are real people. Um, we're not like, we're not perfect. We're people growing up. I started this at 19, right now I'm 23, almost 24. Growing up, I'm not the same person I was when I was 19. I'm not the same person I was when I was in college. I'm not the same person I was, you know, eight months ago. Um, we're all evolving. And on YouTube, you evolve and it's open for criticism, like I was saying. I'm not trying to be negative or like, give this video a down kind of vibe, but uh, I just wanted to verbalize that and really just say thank you guys for all the support. Great things are coming soon. And I'm really excited to be able to show you just everything that's going on. There's so much going on behind the scenes I've been working on, things that are happening in my personal life and everything. I am more than excited to share with you soon. I'm gonna go watch some Prison Break, season two, episode five right now. And I'm so into it. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I just watched that clip back, and I just wanna say that when the lens is like this, this is a 16 millimeter, it makes you look like, a, like an infant, like a child. I felt so skinny. So I feel like I need to justify myself right here. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay now we can start the video. It's now 2 p.m. I haven't vlogged a thing. I've pretty much been literally in this chair all day working on the computer. Tomorrow I leave for LA at 11 o'clock and I'm there until next Thursday. And then we have a launch that Saturday, January 14th. I have a photo shoot tomorrow with Anderson. I hired him to shoot myself, Tim, and Sholly. And then I'm gonna take care of the remainder of the photos with all of our athletes in LA later on this week, but probably like Tuesday of next week. And we also, have to shoot an ad in the morning, a video ad for the Evo line, because Joe has been out of town, he's been in Colorado, so he comes back tonight. We're gonna shoot first thing in the morning, like at 6 a.m., so we're gonna do an ad, a photo shoot in the morning, get on a plane, go to LA, meet up with everyone, and just do the whole weekend, so. It'll be crazy, but now it's time to knock out this leg workout. <laughs> Do you have the gray hoodie with the athlete word on it? All right guys, so I got a few packages here at the gym. First thing is super training. Silent Mike, he sent me over some knee sleeves. Uh, I have medium and larges, so I'm gonna try the mediums, but I may prefer large, I'm not sure. So I got these. I got some black gangster wraps for my bench, the ones that go around the wrist. And these are really heavy duty, these are awesome. I'm not used to using these, that's gonna help out a lot, I feel like. And then I've got some elbow sleeves, which I've never used before. I've always been kind of hesitant to use elbow sleeves for the bench, I don't wanna start like relying on them, but I'm not sure, comment down below, like do they add weight? Does it count like if you use these or if you didn't? I don't know if it adds like five or 10 pounds, I'm not sure. Uh, it shouldn't, I mean, knee sleeves don't add any weight, it just helps feel lubricated, so I don't know if like, if I were to bench like 395 in this, would it still count, right? Okay, and then Movement sent me three watches, three of their new ones. They've got this badass matte black. It's like a silicone rubbery feeling band sport watch. 
They've also got this one with the black and rose gold. And I asked for this because this is sick. I like this a lot. Rose gold right here. I just need to go get it, get the links taken off. If you guys want anything for movement, you can always use my code CG Fitness. That's the only code I have that's not C Guzman. So it's CG Fitness. The link is in the description and the code's there too. So go check it out. Here, I'll just have you look at the website. Man. These mediums are tight. Dad just showed up. I asked him to come, or I asked him if I could go pick up the hoodies because right now we don't have the bulk order in. It's in Houston, but we're waiting for it to get cleared. And so, what's up? I gotta take pictures of them this week and tomorrow morning. These are the two I have. Okay, that's good. That's a new one. Yeah, these are good. I just need to get a, I need to find my black one. Yeah, I gotta show you something. You, you got a little water? Water. That was a good one, man. This is really something. Yeah, so, man, that's, a, that's the original hoodie. It's the right original, there. baby, man. This is, this can be when you got a, a stomach ache or something. Yeah. yeah. All right. This this could, looks like a like what? Like, yeah. a, like a tablet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, look at this. This is magic. It's a pill, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna take it, and something's gonna happen here. I ain't got nothing over my sleeves, nothing on my biceps, just a big bang. Pour a little water in. A little water in. All right. Oh man, I'm sweating, man. Oh man. What the heck? I'm sweating, man. What? You carry it in your pocket like this. This right here is a whole napkin. Okay, so you just, oh my God, what the heck? Wow. Look at the size of the towel. That's cool. Huh? That's really Damn. cool. Damn. What's up, you two? Back with a commentary. Okay, that was, that, was weird. that was awkward. That was so awkward. Okay, here we are. Leg day, 365 pounds. I worked up to it. Uh, I wanted to do three working sets of five with 80% of my max. And so I'm using 455. <coughs> there it is again, that cough, man. 355, or I'm sorry, I wanted to use 455 pounds as my one rep max. So 80% of 455 is 364, AK 365. Right now, I haven't hit 455 recently, but that was the most I'd ever lifted. Uh, I think I did that when Goku Flex was in town like a long time ago, but 455 is the most I've ever done properly, and so that's what I'm using. Now, my lower back was sore as hell warming up, like so tight. Uh, I did three sets of five of deadlifts the day before, conventional deadlift, and so my lower back is like wrecked, but I was still able to do all sets of five. Uh, you can see here, you know, the speed, I was taking a few seconds of rest in between like the fourth and fifth rep on the last two sets. So it was pretty difficult. I'm not gonna lose, definitely difficult. Now here I sped up the reps. Uh, overall, I'm very happy with my form. Yeah, very happy with my squat form. I feel like I'm hitting good depth and everything. Um, and yeah, I would like to get my squat up even though it's not my primary goal, my primary goal is to grow my legs, but I would like to get my squat up, I want to get my deadlift up. I want to hit 500 pounds pretty soon on deadlift and then go from there. I think it's very, very doable. And here you're seeing, I know this is sped up, you can still see the tempo that I'm doing. So it's literally a three to four second, more like a four to five second count down, honestly, a pause and then coming up nice and slow. There I did uh, about five sets on the hamstring curl and I didn't record my quad extensions, but I did the same thing really nice and slow and controlled on the quad extension for five sets. I moved on to a leg press, really nice and slow. And then I finished off with some calf raises because yeah, not crazy, crazy amounts of volume. Um, but like I said, I was very, very taxed from the day before. I deadlifted twice this week and I think I'm gonna start deadlifting just once a week uh, in order to kind of preserve my, my body. But that's it for this commentary. Stay tuned for the rest of the video and enjoy. All right guys, that workout's complete. And I just got a package in. For my, my good friend, I, I have my shoe hook up, man. I got my shoe hook up, and I'm gonna show you guys what these are. This is a, it's crazy, crazy, crazy hookups. So, but he doesn't like me saying his name, so I'm not gonna say his name. But I didn't have to pay over retail for any of these. And he wanted to hook it up for the expo because we're going to LA tomorrow. Shit. And I'm like anxious to see what's in the box. These are super sick. All right, so send me three pairs. One. Have the oh my gosh, the Damn. all black Ultra Boost triple blacks. These are like apparently very very rare. Yeah, dude, I've never seen these. Are those. Sick. Yeah. So 
so yeah, these. Damn, those are those are clean. And then we've got the the new triple whites Ultra Boost right there. These are sick too. Yeah, those are clean, bro. Yeah, they are. Got to keep them that white. Yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not too good with keeping my shoes clean, but I'm gonna try with these. And then he sent me the V2s. Yeah, you slide that. The, Damn. The V2 350s. You can see, I thought these were they were like the white thing, but it's kind of like a cream. But yeah. I think that's actually better. Because that goes with like neutral colors and stuff. So those, Dang, those got hooked up. That man. lineup. <laughs> So, major hookup. Thank you, Anonymous. The V2s run a lot smaller than the V1s. Oh, yeah, ten. I'm a size 10 in these. These are perfect. What size do they typically wear in shoes? 10. 10? Yeah, so like with the old V2s, they ran a little bit big. So I would get like half size down. But these fit true to size. Damn. Damn, bro, those are clean. There's those. And then, man, you hooked it up. I got a nine and a half. But when I get leaner, my shoe, like my feet shrink. So I think a nine and a half would be all right. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh, these are perfect. All blacks. Down. Yeah. You haven't seen it? Well, no one's seen it. We never made them. <laughs> yeah. Just that. Yeah. yeah. Look who it is. I don't know how to, how's it going? Oh, yeah. good? Happy New Year, happy New Year. Uh -huh. She was saying that, um, she said that she knew you guys. I don't know, who, I don't know, I can't remember her name. You're saying about Nala and Knox? Oh, Nala and Knox. Okay, they go outside first thing in the morning, right? Yeah. And uh, so they stay outside for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And then Nala starts crying because uh -huh. she wants to come inside. So I go and I open the door and Knox runs in and Nala just turns around and stays outside. So Nala fakes out Knox every day, every morning? Knox is psychotic. Because Nala gets annoyed with Knox, so she pretends like she wants to go in, gets Knox to go in and stays outside. She does that. She's very smart. She does do, do that. She does do that. I got, first I started with four Red Snapper, Japanese Red Snapper. I got two Shaggy Dogs, one Hot Mama, and then some more coming, right? Two more coming. Two more coming. Thank you, sir. Tuna, right? Oh, spicy tuna. Spicy tuna. Two spicy tuna rolls. Let me have some sauce. All right, guys, I just took the thumbnail for this video real quick, and just want to let you know that I did not pay over retail for any of these. I'm very grateful for the hookup that I got, and I'm really excited. I've been rocking these for like forever. These are my daily drivers, but super pumped about these. How's your eye? Oh, it's good now, you know? I, uh, oh yeah, you can't even tell. You can't even tell. So I mean, <laughs> I've been um, working on myself. And uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>